Hello everyone and welcome back to 50 plus luxury style. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope that you're staying safe and healthy. Today's video is going to be mod shots and a little bit more information on my Chanel mini from the spring collection that I purchased, I believe about a few months ago. I went ahead and uploaded a video for the unboxing. I'll go ahead and link it up below. I also did a video of what fits in my bag, which I can also link for you. However, I've continuously received questions about the strap, how long is the strap, how much can you adjust it, how does it look, how does the little Chanel CC ball feel, etc. So this video is just kind of a follow-up to give you a couple of mod shots and to tell you briefly about the strap. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Isabel and I do videos all about luxury, lifestyle, makeup, beauty, and just pretty much everything that I love. I am 57 years old and I certainly don't feel 57 years old and I love sharing what I'm purchasing, what I like, what I dislike, and what I would like to purchase. So if this is something that you think you might be interested in, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload a, vi a new video. By the way, if you haven't watched my Louis Vuitton Toiletry 19 unboxing, I'll link that one up below also. I am wearing the same Hermes lipstick that I unboxed and it is still going strong, ladies and gentlemen, still right on my lips, feeling just as moisturizing. Okay, let's dive right into this cutie. Go ahead and insert the measurements direct from the Chanel website right here, but enough to say that this is a mini in lambskin it is a single flap and it's got simply a open compartment once you open her up. What's interesting about this particular mini is that unlike most of their minis, this one has an adjustable strap. It has this really, really beautiful ball with the CC's right over here, they are raised. So if I can show you right there, the CC's are raised with the beautiful quilted pattern embossed right onto the little ball. That's really what makes this mini unique. Now, since this particular color launched, I know that they've launched some other colors and they are adjustable. So if this style interests you, you may find the information I'm going to give you helpful. The strap, it can be adjusted. When you adjust it at its longest length, so when you pull this all the way, this to here is 22 inches long. So that is as long as the strap will get. If you want to shorten it, all you have to do is press the little CC's on the ball and pull and the strap automatically will shorten. You can shorten it as much as you want. Keep in mind though that the more you shorten it, the longer this little tail piece of chain will dangle now it looks it looks adorable but if you make it very very short let me just show you this is what the bag is going to look like and you could stick this piece inside if you don't want it dangling You could do this and that'll take care of that. So it does have a lot, a lot of options. Some of you have asked me if the ball 
is uncomfortable, if it's heavy, if it gets in the way of things. And I have to be honest, I've been at home just like the majority of you have, so I have not worn this out. I am going to insert the mod shots. I'm going to show you how the 22 inches look on me, crossbody, on my shoulder. And what I have found so far is that there's no issues with the little ball here. It doesn't have any type of rough edges, so it should not get caught in, on, on your clothes or on the bag. It really is smooth, and I don't think it's going to be a problem. Now, regarding the smoothness of the ability to shorten or lengthen the, sh the chain, I will tell you that I've tried it numerous times and there is no issue. It goes ahead and moves up and down pretty smoothly. You just need to be careful. You need to make sure the chain is pretty much smooth and that it doesn't have any type of wrinkle like this because if not, then the little ball gets stuck. But other than that, I haven't had any problems in adjusting the length up or down at all. This is what the bag looks on me at its longest length. This is the most that you can expand the chain, which is 22 inches. I am five, two and a half, almost five, three. And this is where it falls when I have it at the very longest on the chain. So definitely below my hip onto my thigh area. I would not wear it like this, shorten the chain, and I'll show you how that looks. This is where it falls crossbody at its longest length on me. So this is at the 22 inches, and this is how it looks on me crossbody. And sorry about the light, it is evening here, and I'm trying to get this film. And this is where I would probably wear it if I want to put it on my shoulder. As you can see, I've shortened it quite some. And this is the extra this is the extra little trim that falls and I would probably wear it right here. Some of you were asking me about the ornament here, the CC little ball and whether it interferes with anything. Of course, I haven't worn it out, so I really can't speak to a lot of it, but I can tell you that I don't think it bothers with anything. It doesn't have anything that's going to pull or stick to anything. It's round and smooth and it does not seem to affect the positioning of the bag. So even though it has the little ball here which is heavier than the other side, the bag seems to fall just normal wherever you put it. So I don't think it's going to have any effect whatsoever on the wear of the bag. And so that's it, my friends. I hope that you found this information helpful. I hope the mod shots will also help you in figuring out if this bag is good for you and if the adjustable chain will work. Like I said, if you're interested in figuring out what fits in the bag, go ahead and check out my what fits in the bag video and that should help you. And let me know if you have any additional questions. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.